So students, we were discussing about uh, polynomials and today in this topic we are going to study to divide a polynomial that means division algorithm for polynomials. I told you normally in this chapter we are going to deal with two typical types of polynomials one is quadratic polynomials and the other one is cubic polynomial it means quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial the polynomial with degree 2 and the polynomial with degree 3 that's what we are going to dealing with so here in this chapter now in this topic we are going to get into how to divide a cubic polynomial or a given by quadratic polynomial or a quadratic polynomial with another polynomial whatever polynomial is given that means the dividend what is to be divided that we will choose it as p of x and the divisor will be as g of x and you know that if you are dividing a p of x by g of x definitely you will get a quotient right that means we will consider it as q of x because it will also come in the terms of x only then you will get a remainder which is what we call r of x so p of x when divided by g of x it gives q of x with a remainder r of x so what does it mean in total we can say like this p of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x that means in simple words already we know the algorithm right what is what, what was it dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder that's it the same technique we are going to apply here also so here you have to keep something in your mind see i'm going to tell you the basic things which you have to understand while doing or while trying to solve this typical these typical types of problems the main thing is that uh, first of all when a quadratic polynomial is given or when a cubic polynomial is given check out whether the given polynomial is in the standard form in the standard form means the powers should be aligned in the order of their decreasing order that means if it is a cubic polynomial whatever comes x cube like that that term should become at the first then comes x square then x then the constant term if it is a quadratic polynomial first of all at the term which is containing x square thereafter the term with x then the constant number so this is the criteria this is the way how to get into the question so whenever you are getting a question first of all you have to think you have to check it out you have to look over the question whether the given question is of the standard form and if it is not of the standard form first of all what you have to do you have to bring it into the standard form then only you are supposed to solve that one okay so actually what we are using here means uh, you see a cubic polynomial if a cubic polynomial is given what does it mean by cubic polynomial it is having three zeros in today's class we are going to discuss that uh, among these three zeros one zero will be given one zero will be given and you have to find the other two zeros if a bit quadratic polynomial is given what does it mean it is having four zeros because by quadratic polynomial means it's of a degree four so it's having four zeros and if two zeros are given how to find the other two zeros and if it is a quadratic polynomial and if one zero is given how to find the others this is what we are going to discuss in this section most probably the thing which you have to rem remember in your mind is the remainder theorem which we have studied in our ninth class what is remainder theorem if for a given polynomial p of x if x minus a is a factor of that p of x then p of a will be equal to zero that is what we call the remainder theorem in simple words when I am speaking like this, you may not be understanding because that is the theoretical part. See, simply I will give you an example for that one. See, simply just imagine there is a p of x given, x square plus x square, x square plus 2x plus 4, a, a quadratic polynomial. And if x minus 1 is a factor, x minus 1, remember x minus 1 is a factor, then p of 1 will be 0. Right? If x plus 2 is a factor, p of minus 2 will be 0. Similarly, if x minus 3 is a factor, then p of 3 will be 0. This is what we called the remainder theorem. So, we will get into this chapter by solving some problems and uh, thereafter you will understand what it is. So, let us go to the first exercise, exercise number 2.3, the very first question. Here you can see there are some polynomials given and what you have to do means uh, in this given polynomials, you have to divide the p of x by g of x check out the first question the first question is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 that is the p of x given so is it in the standard form 
the degree is 3 thereafter degree 2 is coming then only x is there then the last term it's a constant right so we can say that this is of a standard form so nothing to worry about what about the g of x which is given check out the g of x it is x square minus 2 is it in the standard form something is missing right what is it means the term of x is missing after x square the term of x should be there and it's missing here so you have to make it into the standard form so what will be the standard form you will write it as x square plus 0x minus 2 that means you will introduce the x term by keeping the coefficient as a 0 keep this in your mind if any term is missing in between you will fill that term by giving the coefficient of 0 for that particular required term so here we are going to divide this one so normally as our division which we have studied in our previous classes similarly like that we will put the p of x inside one column that means inside the dividend area then putting brackets on both of the sides coming to the outside on the divisor part you will put the g of x so what is g of x here it is x square plus 0 x minus 2 now listen this to this very carefully how to divide this one check out the dividend that means your p of x what is the first term of your p of x it is x cube what is the first term of your g of x it is x square divide them together first so x square divided by x x cube divided by x square what will you get x square and x square will cancel last one x will be there right this x you can put it on the quotient part you will keep this x on the quotient part now you got x in the quotient now what to do this x using this x you have to multiply each term of the divisor you have to multiply each term of the divisor and you have to bring it down so here it is x the first term of divisor is x square so x into x square is x cube itself so beneath x cube we will write x cube itself then it's not over again the first term is x itself and the second term of the divisor is 0x so x into 0x is 0x square so we'll write plus 0x square not at finish again x into third term is minus 2 so x into minus 2 what you will get minus 2x right so beneath 5x we will write minus 2x putting the line there now subtract that one this is so important when you are subtracting make sure that uh, you are changing the sign of the bottom number whatever numbers are lying here on the beneath bottom area change the sign and then add them together okay here x cube and x cube there is no need to change both of them are the same numbers if both of them are same numbers and they are having exactly the same sign there is no need to think about it just write it as zero so automatically it will become zero right x cube minus x cube is zero nothing to write there next minus x square and what is the term minus x square and zero x square so as it is zero nothing to worry about again minus three x square will carry down so we can carry it towards the bottom area so minus three x square came there then next one here you can see there is a plus 5x and minus 2x i told you to change the second term sign of the second term here you can see what is the second term it is minus 2x changing the sign what it will become plus 2x now the numbers became 5x and plus 2x even though i said change the sign don't write it and change it there you have to keep in your mind and you have to do it actually we are not changing the sign we are minusing itself we are subtracting itself this is the simplest method how to understand that one okay so changing the sign of the bottom number that means here it is minus 2x so changing the sign of minus 2x it will become plus 2x now that number is plus 2x okay keep that in your mind number is plus 2x what is the top number it is 5x now 5x and 2x add them together okay change the sign of the bottom number thereafter add them together now while you are adding them together 5x and 2x adding them together you will get 7x right bring that 7x and after getting this one bring the next number down what is the next number it is minus 3 bring it down minus 3 now you got minus 3x square plus 7x minus 3 so now what is the first term it is minus 3x square what about the first term of your divisor it is x square now divide them again x square and x square will totally get cancelled minus 3 will be remaining so now bring the minus 3 on the divisor part on the quotient part so keeping that minus 3 on the quotient part now minus 3 is the number right now what do we have to do as earlier we have done the same steps we have to repeat minus 3 into the quotient minus 3 is the quotient right minus 3 into the divisor minus 3 into the divisor so minus 3 into divisor what you will get minus 3 into x square 
what is it minus 3 x square write it minus 3 x square then minus 3 into 0 x it is 0 x itself plus 0 x then minus 3 into minus 2 minus 2 minus is plus 3 into 2 is 6 so plus 6 will be there so now you got minus 3 x square plus 0 x plus 6 put the line now we have to subtract first time minus 3 x square minus 3 x square it is 0 itself 7 x minus 0 x is 7 x itself bring it down 7 x then here it is minus 3 what is the number on the bottom part it is plus 6 I told you to change the sign so while changing the sign it becomes minus 6 now add them together minus 6 minus 3 when you are adding them together you will get minus 9 why you got minus 9 because both of them are of the same sign when you are adding numbers of the same sign the sign will be same and you have to take the sum total of that one so here it is minus 9 now check out the denom uh, check out the remainder it is 7x minus 9 what is the degree of that remainder it is 1 right because 7x minus 9 it's of degree 1 means it's a linear polynomial it's of degree 1 so what was the degree of the quotient it was 2 so whenever you are getting a degree whenever you are getting a remainder which is having the degree lesser than uh, the quotient you have to stop it there that will be a final point so here what is it you got the q of x and you got the r of x that was our question right we want to find q of x and r of x so we will write q of x is equal to what is the q of x here x minus 3 r of x is the remainder is equal to 7x minus 9 is that clear second question here see what is the p of x given? x minus 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5 that means it is a bi quadratic equation it is an equation with a degree 4 so let us check it out whether it is in the standard form is it in the standard form no something is missing right what is missing the term of x cube is missing so we will introduce 0 x cube in between so we will write like this x raised to 4 plus 0 x cube minus 3 x square then plus 4 x plus 5 now let us start the division what is the quotient here what is the quotient ah here see what about the quotient x square plus 1 minus x that is also not in the order that's also not in the every term are there but it's not that's not in the order bring it in the order bringing it in the order it becomes x square minus x plus 1 clear so let us start division what is the first step of dividing take the first term of the dividend take the first term of the divisor divide them together so here it is x raised to 4 divided by x square you will get x square so keep it on the quotient part x square now that quotient x square you have to multiply with the divisor now x square into x square x raised to 4 plus into minus it is minus x square into x it is minus x cube so we will write minus 1 x cube because there is no number so we are just writing it minus 1 x cube next term is x square into 1 x square into 1 x square itself so we will write x square as it is x square we are going to write 1 x square okay 1 x square keep the line there now let us subtract when subtracting x raised to 4 minus x raised to 4 is 0 itself coming to the next term 0 x cube and here that is minus 1 x cube so change the sign of the second number so here the sign of the second number is minus 1 x cube changing that it will become plus 1 x cube so plus 1 x cube plus 0 is plus 1 x cube so again x cube will be carrying downward so x cube itself next term minus 3 x square and plus 1 change the sign of the second number it is plus 1 changing to minus 1 it will become minus 1 minus 3 and minus 1 are the numbers minus 3 plus minus 1 is minus 4 itself so minus 4 x square next term bring it down plus 4 x okay now again repeat the same criteria first term divided by the first term of a quotient so dividing x cube by x square what you will get plus x so write it there on the quotient part plus x now multiply this x by the quotient now multiplying this quotient by the divisor x into the divisor what you will get x into x square how much it is x cube then x into minus x minus x square right x into minus x that is minus x square as it is minus x square we will write minus 1 x square okay minus 1 x square third time what is the third time x into 1 that is 1 x so we are going to write 1 x 
Now x cube minus x cube is 0 itself. Now minus 4 x square minus 1 x square. I told you to change the sign of the second number. Here the second number is minus 1. Changing it to changing the sign we will get plus 1. Now the numbers became minus 4 and plus 1. Adding them together how much you will get? The first number is minus 4 and the second number is plus 1. Both of them are having different signs. If they are having different signs what we will do? First we will write the sign of the biggest number. Here the biggest number is 4 and the sign of the biggest number is minus. So put minus first. And after putting the sign what you have to do? You have to find the difference of these numbers. Numbers are 4 and 1 and the difference between 4 and 1 is 3. So you will get minus 3x square. Next in there is 4x and 1x. 4x minus 1x it is 3x. So plus 3x bring the next number down it is plus 5. Again repeating the same criteria first number divided by the first term. Again here the first term is minus 3x square. There on the divisor part the first term is x square. Dividing them x square and x square get cancelled. Minus 3 will be right. Then minus 3 keep it on the quotient part. Now multiply this quotient by the divisor. Minus 3 into x square minus 3x square minus 3 into minus x minus 3 into minus x minus into minus will become plus 3x minus 3 into plus 1 minus 3 into plus 1 minus and plus you will get minus itself 3 into 1 is 3 so minus 3 put the line there now let us subtract the first two terms are like terms minus 3x square minus 3x square they will cancel away 3x and 3x also will cancel away then 5 and minus 3 changing the second sign it will become plus 3 right so 5 and 3 are the numbers adding them together it's 8. So instead of subtracting, you have to change the sign of the bottom number, then you have to add. Keep this in your mind. Change the sign of the second number, then you have to add them. Is that clear? That's it. Third question x raised to 4 minus 5x plus 6. It's a biquadratic equation. But see, something is something, no, a big thing is missing, right? x raised to 4, then straight it is jumping to 5x. So there is no terms of x cube, there is no terms of x square also. So two terms are missing. So while bringing that to the standard form, what you will write? x raised to 4 plus 0x cube plus 0x square. Now minus 5x plus 6. What about the divisor? There also something is missing. Not only something is missing, the terms are aligned in the opposite way. So first of all, we let us bring it to the correct alignment. First we will write, uh, here it is given 2 minus x square. So bringing that to the terms, we will write minus x square. Then the term of x is missing so plus 0x and here it is plus 2 so minus x square plus 0x plus 2 that is your divisor now let's start the division what is the first method of starting the division take the first term of the dividend take the first term of the divisor divide them together the first term of the dividend is x raised to 4 first term of the divisor is minus x square dividing them together what you will get minus x square so write it on the quotient minus x square now multiply minus x square by the divisor. Now minus x square into minus x square. Minus into minus is plus. So you will get x raised to 4. Then minus x square plus 0x. That is 0x cube, right? So we will write 0x cube. Minus x square plus 2. Minus into plus. You will get minus 2x square. Now put the line. Now x raised to 4 minus x raised to 4 is 0 itself. Next term completely it is 0. So 0x cube and here also there is 0x cube. So totally it will vanish away. It becomes 0x cube itself. Next term 0x square and on the bottom term minus 2x square. Right. So change the sign of the second number. It will become plus 2x square. Bring it down. 2x square. Bring the next two numbers down. Minus 5x and plus 6. We brought the numbers also down. Now what is the next step? Again divide this 2x square by the first digit of the divisor. So 2x cube divided by minus x square x square and x square will cancel minus 2 will be left so minus 2 on the quotient part now multiplying this minus 2 by the divisor minus 2 into minus 2x square minus into minus will become plus so 2x square so 2x square then again minus 2 into 0x it will become 0 itself so 0x then again minus 2 into plus 2 it is minus 4 so you got it as minus 4 now put the line and now let us subtract Anyhow, the first two terms, 2x square, 2x square will cancel away. Then minus 5x minus 0x. It is minus 5x itself. Then plus 6 and minus 4. Change the sign of the second number. It is minus 4 is given. Changing that, it will become plus 4. Now the sign has changed. Then after changing the sign, what we have to do? We have to add them. That's right. 
we have to add them so changing the sign of the bottom number it became plus 4 change in your mind okay don't write it and don't make that minus as plus it will become much more difficult for you you will mess with that so never do like the change in your mind or else beneath that one you can put a small bracket and you can write inside that one plus or minus like that okay beneath that sign very small you may use the pencils for writing like this or it's okay no problem teachers can understand that one okay so here anyhow if it is possible think in your mind itself. so that 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 would be very better that's what i'm recommending for you so plus six and minus four changing the sign of minus four it becomes plus four now plus six and plus four after changing the sign what we have to do we have to add them so plus six and plus four adding them you will get plus 10 so what is the remainder r of x is minus 5x plus 10 and what is q of x minus x square minus 2 this is the way how to divide a given polynomial by another polynomial